What is going on, everybody? This is Mike from The Last Corvette. So let's talk about the Power Boost, the brand new truck that I purchased. This is a 2024 Ford F-150 with a Power Boost. Now, I've had enough time behind the wheel to explain to you guys how this whole Power Boost works. And, you know, I was the first one to jump to videos, reviews of, of this platform here. It's been around for a few years now, and let me tell you something. I'm like the last person that would get a hybrid or a full electric, specifically a truck, because I do use my trucks as trucks. You know, I don't tow as I used to, but I still utilize them uh, either cargo-wise or, yes, towing trailers here and there. So let me explain something. <clears throat> I did look at the used market, as I stated in one of my update videos. I looked at, you know, newer Rams, slightly used Dodge Rams with Hemis, E-Torque Hemis. Now I've had Hemis before. Uh, they're not the most fuel efficient vehicles, especially if you drive like I do, which I'll explain here in a second. Um, I've also looked at GM products. So the 2.7 Turbo Max, the 5.3, the 6.2 liter V8. Here's the deal, the 2.7, I expressed my take on it. I said, if you're gonna lease them two years, three years, who cares? It's it's under warranty, if something happens, it happens, but they do consume oil, they burn oil, either through the engine or through the turbo. Uh, a friend of mine has one and he's having the same problems, right around that sweet spot of 20 to 30,000 miles. So I would never even consider a 2.7 in a new truck regardless of the deal. And uh, number two, when I had my 2.7 Turbo Max, this was a crew cab Silverado 4x4. The whole point of having a smaller engine that has a turbo is to get better fuel economy, right? Better MPGs. I never saw that. Now, mind you, I'm not a light-footed driver. I'm a heavy-footed driver. Same thing goes for this F-150. But regardless, um, <laughs> A buddy of mine has the same style T1 Silverado with a 5.3 V8. And we were getting the same MPGs. Same fuel economy, same fuel efficiency, except he has more horsepower and more torque compared to the 2.7. So to each his own, but that's my take. I also looked at newer Rams, the brand new Rams. So you get the 3.6 V6 or you can get the hurricane and there's a like a normal hurricane and there's a high output hurricane and then i stumbled across the power boost now mind you recently we've had like three fords so the first one we bought was a ford explorer xlt now that one was not a ecoboost that one was i believe a three five i want to say it was a 3.5 liter maybe it was a three liter v6 but that one was good uh, then we switched it up to a 2021 Ford Expedition Limited Max with a 3.5 EcoBoost, not a high output. So it was like 400 horse or 380 horse, something like that. Now that truck there having a, a twin turbo V6 3.5 liter wasn't really good on fuel efficiency, when it comes to fuel efficiency, I should say. So, you know, city driving, meaning that you're not on the highway, it gets about like 14.4, 14.5 miles to a gallon, which is not good. Um, we did take that truck to Florida. So we drove from Michigan to Fort Myers, Florida one year. And the best I could get as far as MPGs in eco mode, uh, same thing, this truck has eco mode, the power boost truck, I've never tried it. Uh, it's supposed to obviously increase the MPGs and, and, and better your fuel efficiency even further. But the best I ever got out of that truck was like 21 miles to a gallon. Now, mind you, it's a heavier truck. It's a full body, basically F-150 Expedition, and it's a Max, so it's the extended wheelbase. So the current one that we have is the high output, so it's 440 horsepower or whatever torque it has. And it's getting the same fuel efficiency as the 2021 did. So I kind of knew what I was getting myself into, uh, specifically with F-150s. The Expedition does drive like a small, it feels like a smaller SUV, almost like a car, very soft, very quiet. And I refocused myself and I said, you know what, let me research the F-150. So of course you have the 2.7 EcoBoost, which is a smaller uh, V6 twin turbo EcoBoost, and you have the 3.5. 
uh, Eco, and then you have a 5.0 V8 uh, that people love till this day, and it's actually a great engine. And then you have the Power Boost. Now, the Power Boost has been you know around for a few years, as I said, and I honestly thought that the Power Boost was just like a souped-up version of a 3.5 EcoBoost that's normal. But I had no idea they were actually hybrids. Uh, and I'm the last person to sit here and say that I would purchase a plug-in hybrid or like a full electric uh, truck, especially. It just doesn't work for me and doesn't work for a lot of people. But a regen hybrid, so this truck here is a 3.5 liter V6 paired with a electric motor and a battery pack and you don't plug it in. It regens its own power through braking. So some people get it confused. When you brake, you're actually using the electric motor to regen uh, or to basically regain that lost power or the power that would be lost otherwise uh, when you apply the brakes and then it puts that power or that charge right back into your battery. But if you're driving for, you know, let's say hours and you're not even using your brakes, your motor essentially becomes the generator. So this is the breakdown. I'm gonna include a picture probably as the main picture for this video. They advertise this truck as 24 to 25 miles to a gallon. Uh, the cool thing about this truck, you know, you have your normal trip one, trip two, uh, but you also have a daily trip, or it's actually, it shouldn't be a daily, it's like uh, every trip of a trip. So every time you start your truck, it resets that trip. And when you shut it off, it tells you, hey, you know, you traveled 10 miles total, um, let's say seven of those miles were gas and uh, let's say three miles were electric. So it kind of gives you a breakdown. And if you go into your trip, you can clearly see, you know, uh, how many miles you traveled on uh, total, um, on gas, and then on full electric. And, and I think that's very, very cool. So here is where this truck shines for me. Now, it's not for everyone, obviously. Yes, it has great power and has great torque. It has more power and torque than a 6.2 liter V8 uh, found in Chevy Silverado or Sierra, just for example. Uh, great towing capabilities, it's a full-size truck. But for me, I'm like the perfect dummy when it comes to fuel efficiency or testing fuel efficiency. I drive 60 miles a day now. 30 are spent on highway uh, on different highways, so at highway speeds, 70, 80. And I'm not, you know, as I stated, I'm not a light-footed. I'm driving 70, 80, sometimes even approaching 90 miles an hour, flowing with traffic. Um, but the deal is the other 30 is spent at stop-and-go traffic, so 30-mile, 40-mile, 50-mile-an-hour roads. And this is where this truck shines. And most trucks, uh, naturally aspirated trucks or even, uh, you know, turbo trucks, they fall flat on their face in that stop and go traffic because they can't get into a higher gear to get that full fuel economy. So you're always basically just burning a lot of fuel and your MPGs or your uh, fuel consumption sucks. This truck is different. Most of your savings come in stop and go traffic or at, you know, speeds of, you know, 45 to 50, 30 to 50 mile an hour. This truck spends more time in full electric with the engine off at those speeds and those conditions uh, than it does with the engine on and running. And it's amazing. And it makes sense because when you're in traffic or if you're traveling from, you know, stoplight to stoplight, you're using your brakes, you're regenerating that power, and um, it's it's pretty badass. I, I think I made the right decision uh, that works for me. It's not, like I said, it's not for everyone, but it works for me because I drive a lot and I do mixed driving, and this truck does get 24 to 25 miles to a gallon. And, and trust me, if I drove this thing in eco mode, I might do a video and, and compare eco modes or if I was a little bit less heavy footed on the highway, I'd probably get even better. I can't wait to do a trip in this truck and actually see what it does if I lock it in, let's say at 70 or 75 mile, uh, you know, uh, cruise control setting. And uh, of course, the other thing is this, we're gonna cover. Um, I've had this truck now for three weeks. I'm on my second fuel tank. I still have like 400 some miles to go. It shows 650, 660 miles to a tank. This does have a 30 gallon uh, fuel tank. So it takes quite a bit of fuel, but the range you can't beat combined with the MPGs that you get through electric. So stay tuned, we'll do another video and I'll talk to you guys later.